Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see a very important topic that is robot class in Selenium WebDriver. So this robot class is very important whenever you are dealing with your Selenium automation, whenever you are dealing with your Selenium WebDriver because this robot class helps in multiple ways to handle certain test cases which cannot be achieved by the Selenium WebDriver API. Okay, so, so I'd like to give a quick introduction about the robot class. So the robot class is basically used to handle your key and mouse events. Okay, so basically during the automation, during the test case writing or development of your test cases in automation, you may come across various test cases where you need to handle certain test cases with the help of the key actions on your keyboard or through the mouse clicks. These key events and the mouse clicks cannot be handled with the help of the Selenium WebDriver API. Okay, so the basically this key and mouse events can be handled only through a different concept called robot class, and this is a part of Java AWT package. Okay, part of Java AWT package. Okay, so this is not part of the Selenium WebDriver API. As I said, this comes along with Java AWT package. Since it does not come along with the Selenium WebDriver APIs, so we cannot handle the key events and the mouse events with the help of the Selenium WebDriver package. So that's why we take help of a different class that is called robot class, which comes along with the Java AWT package. Okay. So why is it used? There are, as I said, it performs your uh, key events and the mouse events. It means that you can press your uh, the keys on your keyboard like we have so many keys on the keyboard right we have numbers we have enter we have uh, page up page down control a lot of uh, buttons are available so those buttons can be handled with the help of robot classes key events similarly we have mouse so in order to do certain clicks on your mouse whether it is right click or a left click or mouse movement that can be handled with the help of your robot class Similarly, the robot class can invoke the mouse clicks as well. It can basically do the right clicks or the left clicks on your mouse. Okay. And so all this can be handled in the robot class. So apart from this, it also helps in doing automation of your native applications. Like you want to perform some actions on your native applications like uh, calculator. Okay. So you want to perform some actions like you want to press numbers. So in that case, you can use the key event and pass the numbers. Uh, it can also help in the file upload. Okay. So file upload from one location to another location, you want to perform some copy actions, all this can be handled with the help of the robot class. So the robot class helps in various way in this way. So there are a few common methods that are used in the, the robot class. As I said, that it can handle the key events and the mouse clicks. Okay. So basically it has various methods like it does press and release events, press and release events so in press and release we have various methods like we have key press as we are talking about key and mouse right key. we have key press that we have key release after the key is pressed you have to release the key as well similarly you have uh, mouse press okay. for the mouse uh, events then we have you have mouse press and you have uh, mouse release and we also have mouse move okay so these are the main methods that are used as part of the robot class in the in terms of handling the key and mouse events so let us see all these things with the help of one example code that i am going to implement this robot class in selenium webdriver so to demonstrate this robot class with example i am going to use this website this is a linkedin website so, so before the demonstration, let me tell you what key actions or the key events I can perform on this particular web page or what mouse action I'm going to use on this particular web page. Okay. So if we talk about the key events, so we can use any key, like we have so many keys on our keyboard, right? We have a page down, page up, arrow down, arrow up, right? So those keys, if I use, let me use the arrow down key on my keyboard just observe this page so if i'm using the arrow down key it will bring the page little downwards right one key press on the arrow down key will move the page little downwards see it is happening one two three four like that okay again i'm going up means the arrow up key it is taking the page upwards 
similarly if i use the paste down key on my keyboard it will bring the paste little downwards okay so if i use the paste up key it takes the paste again towards up upward so these actions on the the keyboard that i have just performed can be handled with the help of the robot class okay. so apart from this if i want to do a mouse click if i do left click so definitely see you see something is happening i'm clicking on the left click on my mouse okay if i do right click it is going to open this particular pop-up right so all these key events and the mouse clicks can be handled with the help of the robot class let us see that so for that let me create a class so i'm going to give the name of the class as robot class tutorial so here the initial parts i'm going to use from my uh, existing class because this is going to be the same just okay so let me use here and uh, also initialize the driver let me put this part inside the class and here i'm going to use the web driver initialization so the errors are gone so now i have to use the add the test method here i'm going to use public void void i'm going to give a name of the method as robot class test okay so here i'm going to uh, basically i am going to pass this url here not this one and okay so now the main part is the main part here is this thread slip is not required let me just remove this here the main part is that i have to create the object reference for this robot class okay for that let me just type robot okay I can give R or anything, I can give robot as well and new robot. Okay. So now let me import the robot uh, class. This is from the java.awt package. Okay. Now also add the exception handling the awt exception. Just handle this. And so this object reference I can use to take all the methods available in the robot class. Okay. So what am I going to do is on this website, I'm going to press the arrow down key on my keyboard. Okay. I'm just going to press the arrow down key for that. Let me just use that method. Let me just type R dot. Okay. We have, as I said, we have key press and key release. As I was talking, we have key press and key release. Okay. After every press, we have to also release the key. So let us use the key press method first. So R dot key press. Okay. So as you can see the first method key press and also you have to provide the the key code here. Okay. So what is the key code? So I'm going to use arrow down, right? So down key. So for that, let me just do one thing. There's another keyword here, key event dot okay. BK underscore okay. Then down. So this means the arrow down key. So the moment I type key event dot and VK, you see a lot of uh, the suggested button names are coming. So this is for the number zero on the keyboard is for number one on the, on the keyboard like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Similarly, we have so many buttons here. So let me do one thing. I am going to use the, the arrow down method. For that, we have down. You just type D O W and it will get it will show you the key. Just use V K underscore down. So this is going to press the arrow down key on your keyboard. Okay. So after that, you also have to release release the key. For that, just do R dot key release. And inside this, you can pass the same thing. Okay. Pass the same thing. So now let us run the code and see whether it is able to so it is able to bring that paste little downwards or not let us see and let us run the code so let me run the code so it is going to launch the browser and it is opening linkedin see it has brought the paste little downward so as you can see it is not exactly on the top it has gone towards downward right
so it has executed so fast because i have not used any slip here so if i use the slip you will be able to see so let us do one thing i'm going to because one key action one press on the down key it has brought a little not much okay so i'm going to use this down key again so that it can bring a little more towards downward okay so let me just use for that i have to use a thread dot slip because otherwise it is going to execute so fast and this invocation this press pressing may not work okay so let me just use uh, maybe three seconds so handle this exception and I'm going to copy the press and release for down key again. So now let me run the code. So see, first is click, now it is again going to the second one. Okay. So two times it has been pressed and uh, it has also released the key, right? Because I am using key release method as well. So now let us do one thing. Let us take this space again upward. Okay, for that we have to use VK up method. So again use the thread or slip. And here you just copy these two lines and use here VK underscore up. Okay, up method. So the same you have to release. So just copy this. Okay. So this will take only one step towards upward. So let me use total two times. Now you see, I run the code. See, one, two, then it will go back again. One, one more time it will go back. See this, okay? So now you see the result, it has passed. So, so far we have used the arrow keys, like upward arrow key or the downward arrow key. But we also have paste down or paste up keys on the keyboards so let us use those as well how to use those so let me open this so let me do one thing so here if i press down on my keyboard there's a button paste down if i press it it just takes the paste downwards a little bit more than the previous arrow down key okay so similarly if i use the paste up key on the keyboard it will again uh, move the paste towards upwards okay so similarly i'm going to use these two keys on the robot class in selenium web driver okay so for that let me do one thing so till now the page is on the top so i'm going to use thread.slip again so i'm going to use here i'm going to use key press r dot press again and key event dot vk underscore paste down so we have paste down we have paste down key here so use this and we also have to release the key after pressing so for that use it and also use three seconds delay and similarly let us use again page up okay so here use dot vk score page up and you also release the key so now let me run the code and see whether it is able to do the actions or not okay so let me run the code so it is firstly it is executing those arrow down key and arrow up keys okay so arrow up key is completed now it is going to use the paste down key now see now it will use the paste up key see so now if i see the result it is actually pass okay so so far we have seen the the key press or the key release events on the keyboard but we also have the mouse clicks so how do we handle those mouse clicks now mouse press and mouse release so basically mouse press or mouse release is used to handle those clicks on your mouse okay so now let me do the mouse clicks on this particular page with the help of the robot class okay so if i do a right click on this page i get this particular menu okay so this is going to be handled with the help of the robot class okay so here uh, let me type uh, mouse clicks so in the key we have used the key press and the key release but for the mouse we are not going to use key press or the key release so we are going to use mouse press or the mouse release here okay so let me use the same object reference for the robot class r dot it, it will be mouse press okay so mouse press okay so after selecting the mouse press we have to provide the buttons so let me just use mouse press 
and here instead of key event it is going to be input event input event okay so this is the input event it's coming from java awt dot event and here i'm going to use a different thing that is uh, button one down mask button two down mask or button three down mask so what is this this is to do the click action on the mouse so button one down mask is used to do the left click on the mouse and button three down mask is used to do the right click on the mouse so let us use the left click first button one down mask and after pressing it we have to also release it so for that use mouse release so after that i'm going to click on the right side i'm going to do right click so for that let me uh, again i'll type r dot mouse press so here input event it's going to be input event dot and button three it is going to be button three down mask and i have to release this key as well after every press we have to release the key okay so this time it is going to do click here but it will not be shown because there is nothing here i am not using any mouse move i am not selecting uh, any place to click i am just randomly going to click on the page the left click will not show anything here uh, but the right click will open up the this particular menu right so let me just close this and run this we'll start from the key event first and it will go to the the mouse clicks so let us see so it is performing those arrow down and arrow up and paste down paste up okay so now page up is done now it will do the clicks see the right click action has been performed so left click is also done but it has not shown anything but right click is done it so it is able to open up this particular menu so let us see the result now so result is also passed so the code has been executed till the mouse release of this particular right click so we also have a different method that is for the mouse move for example r dot mouse move so here we have to provide the x coordinate and the y coordinate we have to provide the x y value the coordinate based on that the mouse will move okay so this i will be explaining in a different topic okay so so far we have understood the key events and the mouse clicks with the help of the robot class why you use the robot class what is the purpose of using the robot class and uh, what are the various methods present in the robot class all this we have understood okay so this helps in a big way whenever selenium web driver cannot handle certain things in your automation test cases the robot class comes into rescue so this can be used in a larger extent okay so this is what uh, the robot class does and this is all about the robot class yeah. there are many more things we can do with the help of the robot class that i'll be covering in a different topic okay so i hope this is really helpful and uh, keep practicing so this uh, looks like uh, a lot of code but if you practice it will be very easy it will come to you so that's all in this topic and i'll be coming up with a new topic if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and if you have liked the video please hit the like button thank you thanks for watching